Hey, what's going on guys? It is Uncle Kobe and Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. I know I'm a little late. I uh, took a week off, spent some time with some friends and family and just enjoyed the holidays and food. A lot of food. Uh, but I'm back and I'm ready to kick out some videos. But first, I just want to address something. Uh, I came back to a couple YouTube messages asking me to cover the drama. I'm doing air quotations here. And recent events and just kind of make a video of my thoughts on it all. And that's just not something that I like to do. I'm not really into sharing my opinions on, I guess, our community's pop culture and uh, you know what's hot at the moment and it's just because like having an opinion really aggravates certain kinds of people kinds of viewers uh you know but it's just not me to make those kinds of videos and there's tons of people out there that make videos on that stuff uh, i'm just not one of them so sorry and i hope you guys can understand that but anyways on to what's more important in today's video we're gonna be taking a look at a couple shotguns and I was actually really excited to make this video because for the first time in any Call of Duty, I really enjoy using the shotguns. I enjoyed the models back in MW2 before they were patched, but other than that, I've just really never been a fan of them. But in this Call of Duty, how the maps are and how the shotguns are in general, I really enjoy using them. Now the two shotguns I decided to cover are the Remington 870 and the S12. No real two shotguns are really similar in this game, so I just decided to go with the two first that you know become unlocked uh, for you to use. Now starting with the damages, it's very tricky to know exactly how much damage each weapon does because both of these shoot shotgun shells filled with pellets rather than just a bullet like an assault rifle or an SMG would shoot. Because of this, it's very hard to know how many pellets hit the enemy when trying to figure out the damages. Starting with the Remington, I've seen people say it does 25 damage per bullet all the way to 50 however I'm just gonna go with 50 damage per pellet close range and about 10 to 15 long range for shots to kill that depends on how many pellets actually hit your enemy because it shoots 8 pellets and each one does 50 damage it has the ability to deliver over 400 points of damage with just one shell which is why you often get multiple kills with one shot using this gun however if only one pellet hits the enemy you will get only one hit marker which is rare but it does happen for the S12, you're looking at around 30 damage close range and 6 damage long range. Again, that's per pellet, 8 pellets per shell. So like the R870, you have the ability to get one shot kills. You get them slightly less often, but with the 240 max damage, the power is definitely there. As for the rates of fire with these weapons, the S12 obviously takes it with its semi-automatic abilities, while the R870 is a true pump shotgun. So before every shot, you need to pump it. Also just a side note, sprint cancelling and YYing mid pump does not work. You need to go through the full pumping animation before you can fire again. Now 80 rounds per minute seems incredibly slow, but it's definitely fast enough when paired with its strong damage for you to pull off those montage kill feeds, so it doesn't really matter that much. The magazine size of the S12 is also slightly larger, but it's a little more complicated than that. Because the R870 is a true pump action shotgun, you can stop reloading at any time. Meaning you can quickly reload one or two shells into your gun, do a YY or spring cancellation, and begin shooting again. Because of this, the reload times and the mechanics are different as well. The S12 is just a standard magazine. Even if you only shoot one shell from the magazine, you're going to have to go through the whole magazine reload animation. That's just how it is for all Call of Duties, and it's going to take a little over 3 seconds. With the Remington, it takes you about 0.6 seconds per shell to reload. However, I've noticed that the first shell takes slightly longer at around 0.8 or 0.9 seconds. Now whether this is a good or a bad thing depends on what way you look at it. If both weapons were completely empty and you just want to have fully reload it, the S12 would take a shorter amount of time. However, let's say if you're in a high traffic area and you see two or more enemies heading towards you, you can quickly reload just a few shells and then take them out. So because of how I personally use the shotguns, being able to reload one shell at a time is a lot more effective. For the bullet spreads and recoil patterns, I decided to shoot 4 shells while aiming down sights at a long range and hit firing while at a shorter range with both of the guns. Starting with the ADS recoil, it is very, very small. The bullet spreads are incredibly tight, which is why they are sometimes referred to as overpowered. As for the hipfire spreads, nothing too crazy, but something I did notice is that with the Remington, the pellets seem to travel higher while being shot, while the S12 pellets seem to go a little lower, so that's just something to keep in mind while you're hip firing. But when it's all said and done, these shotguns are really fun to use and do work with but are terrible to play against, especially from close range. You can make an argument that they are overpowered, or you can say that, well, you know, that's just how shotguns should be. But either way, after using both of these weapons a lot, I would have to give it to the R870. It fits my personal playstyle really well. Its damage is just ridiculous, and the reloading shell by shell can be really effective as well. But what do you guys think? Which gun is better? And do you think that either of these are overpowered? If you do say one is OP, you have to back it up with some sort of reasoning. All opinions are welcomed as long as there's some thought process going on there. But that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you could spare some time and click that like button, it would help me out a lot. Bunch of awesome stuff coming in the near future, so subscribe if you haven't already. Check out either of the videos on screen, and have a great day. Peace.